Save the Children have been working to strengthen and support maternal and child health and creating a safe environment for children in Nigeria since 2001. Save the Children exists in 120 countries of the world and that's quite huge. That's about 61% of the countries of the world. The organization has actually enlarged in terms of its, uh, its function, its work, uh, not only in terms of geography but even in terms of what we do. We want to make sure, we have been trying to make sure that uh, in our health and nutrition portfolio is large enough you know, to make sure that wherever we work, children survive. And to also ensure that uh, our education portfolio is increasing uh, in such a way that children are able to be in school and to learn and to develop uh, to adults that are responsible uh, in the community. And also, we, we aspire you know, for a country where every child, every child, wherever he or she is, is protected. Save the Children is engaged in advocacy, humanitarian relief, revival of routine immunization, and combating malnutrition and other preventable diseases. Hafiza is the mother of twins, Husayna and Hassana, in Bungudu local government area, Zamfara State. They have been receiving help from volunteers supported by Save the Children. <laughs> Save the Children collaborates with government and other stakeholders to reduce malnutrition. The ministry is doing very well under the state government. Their officers are doing wonderfully well. And there is support and encouragement from Save the Children. So in Zafara, Save the Children is doing wonderfully well. The capacity building has been so useful to the extent that uh, you find uh, a lot of people that are not health personnel, but they, uh, because of the level of interaction activities, they, they can talk with such a level of confidence and uh, a proficiency about nutrition, which hitherto people assume is just to satisfy hunger and the rest. So uh, we benefited a lot, the expertise and even the resources. And uh, most importantly, they were able to support us to institutionalize this in the government process because creating a budget line has institutionalized nutrition in, in the states. And uh, I thank God, uh, as we're talking today, releases are there. So we're almost there. The insurgency in the Northeast has created a dire humanitarian situation with over 3 million internally displaced people. A lot of children have been separated from their families and are unaccompanied. In terms of the insurgency and the crisis that we have had in the country, we have tried to ensure that we contribute our own quota to ensure that children in those climes also uh, have a fair share of whatever is coming their ways in terms of succor, in terms of support and all that. So these are areas in which we have been uh, working as a country. A lot of children have been found to have to have uh, being an accompanist, they, they are separated from their families, and Save the Children is managing these cases on a case, on a case basis, where we are capturing these cases and referring them to the necessary support they can get to unite them with their families and give them the necessary support they need.
gaskiya na sha wahala dalilin zuwa na nan dan ya debe min kewa kuma in daina tana abin da ya faru a baya da ni save the children has done a lot in the life of these children and people on camp because not just the children even the people their parents receive something from the children like the wash the relief materials they present the toilets even the boreholes really save the children have really done something great that this community of people in the camp will never forget because as because of save the children at least their child their children are, are, are referred to hospital the, the ones that are unaccompanied are being are being taken care of their needs are being catered for really save the children have affect the people of this community in this camp this humanitarian situation has led to a spike in the levels of malnutrition and other preventable diseases affecting children. Save the Children started a response here since uh, August uh, 2014 and we've been impacting children in the areas of child protection, um, food security and livelihood, we're doing WASH uh, as well as nutrition. Just behind me here is one of our OTPs. Uh, where we are treating children, minority children. The way we are working here is that we have a team of community facilitators who go around the communities assessing children using the MWAC system and children who are found to be minority are referred to this centre where they are treated. A lot of uh, families have missed out, uh, IDP families have missed out their farming seasons and uh, they are, you know, there are a lot of gaps in food security. Several children distributing food baskets to about 5, 000, over 5,504 families um, to, to see them have a, improve their access to food uh, in, in that regard. Uh, we are also drilling boreholes in the, in the various locations and uh, also rehabilitating those that have been damaged by the war. Save the Children advocates for mothers and children, influencing government policy and traditional rulers to address critical issues affecting them. One of the messages is commendation and uh, also for them to continue with this uh, laudable program because uh, we are sure that uh, we are going to get good uh, result, the good uh, reward from God, Almighty God, because the people that are benefiting are praying, you know, for all people who have hands in this. And then uh, my message is for them to continue. We want a situation where, because the future of Nigeria depends on its children, therefore, it makes a lot of sense for us to hope and wish that government and all partners who are working in Nigeria put children at the center. That is the first, the first thing. We have made a lot of progress, even though I would still say because uh, I'm quite ambitious, and the uh, safety children is quite ambitious. And also because we, we are becoming impatient in terms of where Nigeria places children. Therefore, we haven't seen enough. And we believe we should see much more than we have seen at the moment. Alhamdulillah, the Kanguli at the Bata. Governor Hukuma, what the Tahadasamana, the Chigaban, Kauman or Gama Dada, Dumim Kali, Mataluli, Elenaram. This camera is a good one. She 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 is a Save the children, come among God, they must also say, How go be her GB Mona Kay, the save the children, her abada. Naja, that is also come in a car of Godia. We want the world to uh, have a change in terms of the way they treat children. We want a world where every child is given a chance to get to his or her potential. In Nigeria, our passion is to ensure that every child survives and thrives. What that means, if we break it down further, is that we want a situation where every child survives and where every child is protected and where every child is given the, given the chance to reach ease or potential in terms of development. Yeah.